The first member of our Hall of Fame that we want to recognize tonight um, really is someone that has meant so much to so many people for so long. Every child has a story, their own strengths and needs, and we get to plant the seeds of love that will hopefully change the trajectory of their lives. Those are the words of Jean Davis in describing the work of the Ebenezer Christian Children's Home. Started in 1994, the project serves as a way for kids to find their place in what can be a very unsettled and scary start to their lives. Jean Davis planted the seeds for hundreds of young people, leading, raising money, convincing, building, whatever it took. Jean is honestly one of the most genuine people you could ever hope to meet. She is just a little firecracker. She's short in stature and big in personality. She's the best storyteller I've ever heard, and I think that's one of the reasons why children are so drawn to her. Well, Jean uh, is a very caring person. She loves children, and uh, she has a, a way of c connecting with people. And uh, she just one of the most friendliest people that I've ever seen. And she can just touch the hearts of the people around her. And that's why she has been a, such a successful uh, director for us at Ebenezer, because she just has a way of connecting with people. I know a lot of people that do a lot of great ministry, pastors included. And I don't know if I know anybody more dedicated to what God has called them to do. And of course, that's to take care of the children in our community that don't have anyone else to take care of them. When you get around her, she's always talking about what she's going to do next. She's always talking about the next project, the next way that they're going to uh, build a, another children's home. And there aren't many people that are willing to spend uh, their time and their talents for kids that can't necessarily pay her back. Um, she does it because that's what God's called her to do. Jean is directly involved in the lives of each of those kids. I've noticed that I've seen it with my own eyes, you know, that she is personally invested in them. And she, she loves all of them like they're hers. I, I don't know how in the world she does it. It's got to be uh, the power of the Holy Spirit in her life that she's just able to love those kids like she was their mom. She has served 935 children in residential care or in foster homes that we license. She's always done it for the right reasons, and so I think it's just one more way that she can show the children that making good choices and service to others does pay off. And I'm really thankful that the citizens of Wilkes County recognize her efforts because it has been a thankless job in a lot of ways, and I've seen her put in hours that I would never ask another person to do all just in service of children. If there's a need, she's there. I think that's why she came on board with us because she knew the need was here in Wilkes County for a place to, for our children that they could find refuge, could find someone who loved them and someone who would care for them. She still hangs in and works and she's been through sickness and she's fought through those sicknesses and come back and I don't think she's going to give it up till the Lord tells her to. Jean Davis tells the story that one night the house parent at the home found just three potatoes in the pantry. A total of five children were waiting for supper. The staff members prayed. They thanked God for the chance to work at the home. They prayed he would send what the kids needed. That evening, three people felt the need to bring potatoes for the children. Faith embodied in the work of Jean Davis, the newest member of the Wilkes Hall of Fame. I think Mr. Larry's just kind of said it all, so I don't need to say anything. So I am very honored and very humbled to be here tonight sharing this night with so many deserving people that will come after me. I want to personally thank Diane Swain for her belief in the mission of Ebenezer and for me and for working so hard to do the nomination. And by the way, if you see Diane tonight, it's her birthday. So happy birthday, Diane. <laughs> There's so many people to thank that has made Ebenezer possible. I've just been the one that's been blessed to get the hugs from the kids every day. 
But I want to thank all of our board members, past and present, that has made it possible and has stood behind me, especially to our chairman, Ken Perdue, that begged me in 1993 to help, and I kept saying, no, I'm not qualified to do that. And I know that I wasn't, but God told me I was. And I thank him for the journey of 28 years and for the thousand around a thousand children that has come through the doors of Ebenezer. I'm forever grateful for that. <laughs> I thank my family, especially my husband Andy, that has stood behind me and wore so many hats in Ebenezer to get what needed to be done, done. My daughter Amanda had just finished 12 years ago her master's degree, and without that, I would not have been able to start for foster care and adoptions. And over the thousands of children that's come through Ebenezer, we've had a hundred of those that's been adopted because of her being able to start that. And for that, I'm ever grateful. For all the staff members that has been behind us and has loved our children and has had the honor of telling them every night before they go to bed, Jesus loves you. And foster care does not define who you are. I'm forever thankful for those staff members, for the children that are told you can do all things through Jesus Christ that strengthens you, for the children that we've had that's went on to college and got their degrees. Actually, the lady that is taking the pictures tonight, one of my kids actually owns that company. For the other children that's been successful and has shared with their own children, you can be somebody special too. And as Larry had said many times about dreams, one of my kids one day said, Ebenezer is the safest place I've ever lived. At Ebenezer, I found out it's a safe place that you can laugh, play, and dream. And we want to continue helping children's dreams come true at Ebenezer Children's Home. But the one that deserves this award tonight is those children that have come to us night after night with only the clothes on their back. For the baby that when we changed her diaper, Rachel actually crawled out of her diaper. For the three little boys that would have given anything for the meal that we had tonight, that only had ketchup and bread to eat for three days. For the children that come to us and wants to know and says, I, I actually have a clean bed tonight to sleep in. Will they really be food in the morning for me? For the little girl that is now a teenager that came and spoke at Ebenezer this year, she was four years old when she came to us. A police officer found her pushing her baby sister in a baby doll stroller and holding the two-year-old sister that she had by the hand as she was walking down the road on a very cold, snowy day to find food for her siblings. We give children an opportunity at Ebenezer, you're not the mama, you're not the daddy. At Ebenezer, let us do those things for you so you can be the sister or brother to your younger siblings. I am so thankful for all of this and for Wilkes County that wrapped their arms around us from the very beginning. And so many faces that I see here tonight that has supported us all these 28 years and continues to support us. I thank you for that. But most of all, I can't close without saying to God be the glory for the great things that he's done and the people that he's used to love on these children. Thank you for all that you've done for us, and may God bless you. Thank you.